I'm hoping I'm actually hitting this guy. Did I get three? I got three. Oh man, let's go. Let's get out of here. Eat this stew. Go that way. Which way am I going? This way? Oh! Oh, I ain't going that way. Get out of there. Yeah, we're going this way. Watch out for the skeleton. Side strafe. Alright, run. Alright, here we go. We're back on the road again. I can't wait to be on the tarmac again. <clears throat> of course, if you do not know who sings that song, then you're okay, but you should, you should, you should learn. Alright, so, let's see. Keep going this way. And it looks like we're going to kind of go in that direction. Let me have a look over this way. Goodbye, village. Goodbye, village one. Alright. Um, oh, here's the thing. F3. Here's my coordinates. And I'm going to T slash seed. For anyone that wants the seed, there it is. Take a screenshot. And you will see where I'm at. You will know where this village is. And then uh, periodically I will show more, more of my coordinates. And that way, if you guys want to use this seed, you'll know where things, some, some of the things I saw are. Um, one thing this season, I want to find a jungle temple, for sure. Because I didn't find one last season, and that was very sad that I didn't find one. So that's definitely what I want to do this season. And like I said, last season was a lot of sailing, and I won't do that again. Because I, I think I literally got cabin fever, like, sailing for you know 10,000 blocks like an hour um one thing with recording a lot of people might not know depends on depends on who's recording how their house is set up and stuff but I'm um, here I actually have to turn off my uh, window unit so there's no AC right now and it is August for anyone that doesn't know or can't tell that it's August and uh, yeah I have to turn off my window unit so it gets hot in here and uh, I just wanted to say that I, I, I at one time, one point in time, got heat madness, or at least that's what I call it, some kind of weird heat madness because uh, I didn't have. Well, I used to have a central heating and air unit, right, like inside the whole house, and there's like vents and everything. Well, that thing went out one summer, or it was last summer, I believe. And uh, I literally caught what I, I would say is heat madness. And I, I literally almost died, I think. Um, um, don't worry, don't worry. I know you guys are like, oh my god, he almost died. But no, 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 it's okay. Don't worry. I lived. But um, it is not good to go through that kind of heat for four, I think it was like four or five days that I didn't have any AC and was just literally, I mean, I can't explain it better than, ooh, that's nice. Uh, I can't explain it better than I got some kind of madness or cabin fever or something. And I think we were talking about, yeah, me sailing last season and how terrible that was. The actual sailing across the uh, seas, the high seas on Minecraft. I, I felt like I was getting the madness again. So, uh, yeah, I won't be doing any of that this season. Let's go ahead and far it down here chickens there's more chicken Ooh, chicken oh, there we go get up here go across these mountains looks like we've come across the taiga snow biome which is like it's not a forest it's more like a more like a tundra if you will they could have called it that instead of a taiga. I'd have been happy. But, uh, maybe that's just what it's called in another language or something. I'm not sure. You know, I'm, I'm very, 
I'll give you guys this. I'm very open to uh, a global culture, not just not just being, you know, because I, I do live in America. And a lot of people think Americans are, you know, evil buttheads, and I, I'm sorry, I won't say, you know, curse words and stuff, but, you know, they think we're evil or something or something like that. I'm not sure, but um, I am very open, very open to other cultures, languages, stuff like that. I, I really like a global community in, in a way. I'm not saying anything crazy or anything. I'm just saying that I really enjoy other like cuisines and stuff. We talked about that earlier. How I was talking about, you know, I like uh what was I saying? Oh yeah, food. We can all we can all talk across food and I really enjoy like I tell you one thing I really enjoy is Japanese food. And and I know that just sounds weird. A lot of people a lot of people actually hate me, believe it or not, because I enjoy Japanese food here in America. But um you know, to me, they're just missing out. Those people are just missing out. Because they've never tried it, you know. And that's the thing, like a lot of people that can't embrace things have never tried to embrace things and that's it, it's kind of a vicious cycle but at the same time like it's all about you know like who you are what you do and me in particular I'm very open I enjoy I enjoy things that other people don't sometimes and I mean it's okay just as long as I'm not you know hurting anybody or anything that's fine no one cares I'll, I'll, like I said, surprised I'm not already dead. All right, so um, it's, well, I was gonna pick up this pork chops. Man, I cannot get anything. Here we go, and we'll get to use our first iron sword. Come here, guy. Um, for those of you that don't know, I don't enchant anything. Um, I store up all my levels. And that is what level I am. So anytime I play a hardcore or an adventure thing or something like that, I try not to enchant anything. And just consider the the levels that I have to be the level that my character is. So right now I'm a level 15 rogue. And that's what I'm going to say. I'm a level 15 rogue right now. A couple more pork chops to get, maybe? Perhaps before it gets dark. And I remember... That at the end of the last snow biome I went to, it was terrible because there were an ocean. Was an ocean. Were an ocean. Was an ocean. You know, that's one thing I want to talk about too. Um, for those of you that speak English, and for those of you that don't speak English, and maybe listening to this with kind of you know Russian closed captions, um, I, I, my closed captions on my channel are terrible. They are just terrible. I do not say some of the things that the closed captioning says. It's true. If you turn on the closed caption on my videos, you'll be reading something completely different from what I'm saying. And I know it's kind of automated and stuff, but the thing is, is it said some really crazy things before that I did not say. So I just wanted to point that out, that if you're, you know, maybe hearing impaired like me, you might be watching this in closed captioning, and uh, I just feel bad for you <laughs> because the closed captioning on my videos is terrible. It's also hilarious sometimes, but it's terrible, and you should not close caption my videos. But uh, if you have to, go ahead. I understand. But just know that sometimes it will say crazy stuff, and you guys will be like, Hey, did he say that? And no, I did not say that. Because like I said, I try not to swear on my channel. I try to be family friendly and stuff. Um, one of those reasons is, is I have a nephew. And he'll probably watch these videos later on down the road. Or at least I'll make him watch them anyways. But uh, his name is... Uh, we'll call him uh, Deuce. That is his... Uh, that is his... Uh, kind of nickname, I guess, number two, you know, Deuce, and uh, the reason why is because he's named after his dad, which is my brother, and, uh, yeah, little Deuce man, and he, uh, 
I know later on he might watch these videos and, and laugh at me talking about this, but uh, 